Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 94. Going to be starting the episode back at Corrupted Gauntlet. Still need four more Crystal Armor Seeds and at least one Enhanced Weapon Seed for the Bow of Ferdinand. So wish me luck. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Hey, there we go. That is my third Crystal Armor Seed. Three left to go and still looking for the Enhanced Weapon Seed as well. Up to 217 Corrupted Gauntlets done now. Another video, another farming XP milestone. That is 60 million XP now, which is pretty ridiculous. I didn't think I would uh, get this high on the account, but just gonna keep going, keep plugging away with the farming runs and hopefully one day I'll get the pet. Oh, well that is my first uh, elite combat task that I've completed since they've released the uh, combat task. So I was gonna speak about this maybe a bit later in the video. Um, yeah, I think it's a cool little update. I don't think I'm going to be going for um, any of the achievements straight off the bat. It, I think it's going to be something I just work on kind of passively. There's a lot of bosses that I've basically completed and I don't know if I want to go back to them. Um, there's a lot of like Slayer bosses um, that I wasn't really planning on going back to. But I think it could be a cool little thing to start working on, um, maybe for the long term. But I'm not going to try and rush them, certainly. Well, that is my first Master Combat task, which is a perfect Corrupted Hunter lift. So the last one was just for not missing a prayer flick um, and getting hit off prayer. And this one is for not getting hit by the tornadoes or attacking the Hunter lift with the wrong weapon. Can I get an armor seed? That'd be quite nice. No, of course not. Never mind. Let's go. Yes, I just got the Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed. And that was at 238 Corrupted Gauntlets. I don't even have enough shards to turn this into the Bow of Ferdinand. And I still only have three Crystal Armor Seeds. But that is so good to get um, pretty far under the drop rate. I guess it's 1 in 400. Um, and yeah, I just have to go for the Armor Seeds, get the rest of the shards. And I'm pretty set. So hopefully I don't go too dry. Um, the Armor Seeds are just a 1 in 50 drop. So... Um, yeah, I'm kind of on rate really to, to have my fourth and fifth ones nearly. So, oh, that is such a relief. I'm so happy to see that drop. There we go. That is my fourth armor seed. Two left to go. 242 KC. So not long after the enhanced weapon seed would be so good to chain the last two armor seeds and get this wrapped up quickly. Got an elite from the corrupted gauntlet that turned out to be a mimic. What can we get? Nice, Master Clue, let's go and do that. And uh, that's 175 Elite Clues done now, so 25 to go until I get the unique casket drop, which is pretty cool. All right, Master Clue done. What are we getting? Ah, uh, 340K, not too bad, but yeah, nothing too exciting there. Ooh, nice, another PB at Corrupted Gauntlet. Eight minutes and nine seconds. So yeah, that's a, uh, I think like a 20 second um, faster kill than my previous personal best, so not too bad. What can we get from the chest? Yeah, nothing there. There we go, that is 5 out of 6 armor seeds, 255kc, 1 left to go. Another elite clue, what can we get? Another master clue, very nice, let's get into that. And from the master clue we get... A samurai hat, I think I've already got that one, but yeah, 450k. Not too bad as Master Clues go. So for the first time in a very long while, I actually have to go and get a new item for an emote clue. Um, I guess they must have added this with a Kingdom Divided. I need to go and get a Farmer's Straw Hat from Tithe Farm. Um, I don't have any pieces of the Farmer's Outfit. While I'm there, I may pick up the Auto Weed feature because I've never, you know, picked that up either. And um, it does annoy me when my patches um, weed over straight after I pick something. So yeah, that would be 50 points for auto weed and 75 for the straw hat. So yeah, I think that's probably a couple of hours actually at Tide Farm, which isn't great, but um, yeah, we'll go and knock that out. Well, that wasn't too bad, all things considered. 130 points, so I can now buy both the farmer's hat and the auto weed feature. So I'll get both of those. Um, yeah, I've been meaning to get the auto weed feature since I started actively going for the farming pet at around 18 million XP. So uh, I have really put that off, but nice to finally pick it up. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with this elite clue. All right, and after all that, what are we getting? Another master clue would be nice. Nope, <laughs> not much there. 
All right, that is 300 Corrupted Gauntlets completed now. The drop rate for the Armour Seeds is 1 in 50, so it'd be very nice to finish up my uh, sixth Armour Seed on this round number. What can we get? Not quite. We continue on. <laughs> well, there we go. The final Crystal Armour Seed, just one chest later. I'm done. I need to go and check how many Crystal Shards I've got. I think I might be a couple of hundred away from actually being able to... Uh, make my Boa Affair Dinin a corrupted version. Oh yes, I'm really looking forward to trying out the uh, the bow and the armor. I might go back to God Wars and try it at Bandos. There's the, uh, I think it's a 7-0 method to try out, but um, yeah, I've been quite lucky here, I have to say. Pretty much got all of the armor seeds on drop rate and went 100 under the drop rate for the weapon seeds, so no complaints from me. So I needed about 150 more shards. I came to pickpocket some elves and I quite quickly got two Enhanced Crystal Teleport Seeds. So each of these can be traded in for, I believe, 150 shards. Um, so that'll give me a little bit left over for charging up the Crystal Armor. Um, but yeah, let's go and put together the Armor and the Bow of Fair Dinan for the first time. Okay, so I want to be careful not to accidentally make more than one of each of the Armor pieces. So we'll start with the body and we'll make the other two pieces. And of course, want to be careful not to make the blade by accident. And then I can just crop that. Fantastic. I'm actually going to go and change the color of the bow. I think I'm going to turn it either into the original color or the slightly bluer one so that it matches the armor. Ah, oh, but I'm very much looking forward to trying this out. I think there's gonna be quite a few bosses where this will be useful for me. Yep, definitely go with this recolor. It's the Melee recolor, so it's slightly blue. I think it goes well with the armor and it's not too obnoxious like some of the other recolors. Well, I've been meaning to do this quest for a while, but that is the A Kingdom Divided quest completed, which gives me access to the new Arceus spells most notably the Thrall spells, which would be quite helpful for PVM going forward. So yeah, good to get those unlocked. Well, this is going to be the end of my very first trip at Bandos with the new bow. Uh, not because I've run out of supplies, I've just got to hop off my PC for a second. Um, and that's 25 kills in one trip. And it's been by no means perfect. There's been plenty of kills where I've been bopped for uh, a 30 or a 40 by grad or so. This new method, I have to say, is ridiculously good. Whoever came up with it um, just has such a good understanding of the game. It's not too difficult once you get it down. Um, I'd say it's just as um, easy to, or difficult, I suppose, as the um, kiting method that I was doing previously with my Armadillo crossbow. I'm going to throw up a clip on screen now of um, probably one of the quicker kills that I managed, and you can just see how easily the the new bow is just shredding through grada it's so accurate and you know it's got the potential to be hitting you know 40s 45s um so i think this is going to be a very quick way for me to get my kill count here at grada up relatively easily and hopefully i will be able to get the boots in the not too distant future all right well that is 700 kills at bandos god wars and still no sign of the boots can't quite believe I had all of the other drops by 149 KC and I've still not seen a pair, but that's just how it goes. Well, with that kill, that means I've managed a 40 kill trip, which is pretty ridiculous. With the old uh, 6-0 range method, I was um, getting 20 kills as a sort of maximum. Um, so yeah, to be hitting 40 with this new method is... Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, I have to say. Two clues from Bandos, a hard and an elite. What can we get? Nothing, nothing. First drop in a while, that is a God Sword Shard 1 from the Minion. Oh man, that's my fifth Bandos chest plate. I actually didn't realize that the uh, loot beams were turned on. Um, not sure how to feel about that. So I've had five chest plates and uh, just one tacits, two hilts in 722 KC. Hmm, no way have I just got the Bandos pet. 740 KC, that's really good. I'm gonna to have to tell you out of this skill because I don't wanna risk losing it. Um, that's cool, that is my first God Wars pet and considering I've got quite a lot of KC, probably on rate for one, um, so that is very cool. Wow, certainly was not expecting that. 
All right, so as ever, going to be spending 500K to insure the pet, which is well worth it. And these are the ones that we've got. So that is my 10th pet overall, which is pretty cool. Ah, well, there we go. That's my second pair of Bandos Tassets on the account. Could have been the boots, but to be honest, I'd rather see this than another chest plate. So I guess I'll take it. I'm kind of playing around with the loot beams at the minute. Um, I think it's cool for some of the more expensive drops, so I don't really want it dropping for stuff that's um, not so exciting. So just trying to figure out what my filters are going to be for that. Ah, uh, well, it's another pair of tassets, which, as I said, better than seeing another chest plate. So I'll take it. It's another 22 mil for the bank value, but it's not the boots. What? I just don't get it. Why? Just why? I don't want it. I do not want that drop. There's a little bit of symmetry between my drops at Armadillo and my drops at Bandos. I've got uh, six chest plates from both bosses and uh, three of the bottom armor pieces, though I do have five Armadillo God Swords to my two Bandos God Swords, so I've got some ways to catch up there. And this is going to be 800 kills at the Big Green Goblin. And that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. It's been a pretty jam-packed video. Obviously, getting the crystal armor and the bow of Ferdinand was a particular highlight. But I uh, had some fun at Bandos, picking up the pet, which I certainly wasn't expecting, and uh, a handful of other drops. Next episode, hoping that I'll be able to finish up Bandos by getting the boots. May end up going to Sara to try and get the hilt and possibly the Sara sword, which are the two items I need there. And uh, yeah, some other content that I can test out the bow. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the series, uh, feel free to subscribe as well. And until next time, guys, take care.